Hey guys, this is just going to be a November favourites, and I'm going to start with eyes. So first of all is the MUA Undress Me palette, or the Undress Me 2 palette shall I say. This one has basically a smoky eye palette, and I will see if I can read the shades. I don't think you will be able to see them though because my camera is not focusing. We have Naked, Devotion, Shy, Fire It, Lavish, Dreamy on the top and then we have Tranquil, Exposed, Reveal, Walk, Obsessed and Corrupt on the bottom. And this is basically a 12 shadowed palette and it has some mattes and some shiny and it obviously comes with a applicator sponge which you don't necessarily have to use. I just use it for the inner crease of my I to do the light colours. So keeping on the theme of eyeshadows, this is the MUA Trio in Innocence and this is basically just a brown smoky eye with a highlight, a goldy colour and a brown. These are all shimmery and again they do come with a little brush but you don't have to use it. The next trio is again from MUA. This one's in Pink Sorbet and again has a brush and sparkly. Have a highlight, a pink and a brown. And they're £3 each. And then a solo eyeshadow and this is in shade 19 and it's a matte. It's probably more true to colour there. Moving on to lashes now, I have two sets. I have the collection Luscious Lashes and these are in Glam Volume and these are a state in the box. But basically they're really dark, thick lashes and they're great for going out on a night out. But the glue in this isn't great so what I do is because I've got these ones, the Kate Perry Colour Pop Lashes in Kaboom. I use the glue out of here because the glue in this one is amazing. So these are the ones that I've got a hint of colour. I don't know if you'll be able to see the hint of colour in through the camera. These have got a hint of blue. They have black lashes and blue lashes. I don't know if you can see that. But I think these were 4 99 or something like that and the glue in here is amazing. Next is something that was in my super drug haul. My little one that I did. These are basically just eyelash curlers. And these are from Cosmopolitan. And you can't see. These are Cosmopolitan, these are 4 99 and they're just basic eye curlers. Sticking on the theme of eyes, this is the Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt It Liner. There you go. And I'll just take the lid off for you. Just looks like that. I like that, it's easy to apply. Two mascaras now, we have one by MUA and one by Revlon. I'll show you the Revlon first, this is the Photo Ready 3D Volume. I'll try and show you the brush, but I don't think this is going to focus because it's not having a very good day. I 
there we go so that's a really nice brush and you get 10 mils of product in this one and the next one's my uh, MUA lash broom and I'll show you the brush before I show you the packaging once we're already zoomed in and again that's a weird brush but you get 7 mils of product in that one They're both in extra black or extreme black and their packagings look like this the last thing in the eye makeup sort of section is the MUA hide and conceal and this is what it looks like and this is in fur that's pound. Next I'll move on to nails. Okay so I'll start with the four that are here. They're all in the background there. We have four MUA ones. We have one that's in shade 22 but that is, it is similar to the Plum Noir. This is Plum Noir. This is the old packaging. And this is the one I am comparing it, well that I favourite over it. Shade 22. I don't know what it's called now but I know they do still sell it and this is obviously in different packaging now because these are the old designs we have a love hearts one which is in the shade you and I that's just this really nice yellow shade which is what I actually have on my nails right now so that one then we have koala bear which is a grey colour and then we have the top coat which is obviously clear next we have three Barry M products two with glitter, one without the one without is 317 Blue Moon a pale blue colour. The one I put on top of that to make sparkly nails is 340 aqua glitter. It just looks like this. And then we have gold mine glitter which is 355. The next one is a nails ink product. Now this was like as a sample and it's OMP. And it's quite a pink e ready colour quite plummy but I don't know if they sell this anymore we have a number 7 in stay perfect and this is minty fresh I don't think you'll be able to see that one oh, yeah, you will. there you go and this is quick drying this is similar to the Barry M it's just the number 7 is a bit quicker at drying than the Barry M We have two by LA Colours. We have this one which is pink and it's in the shade Pink Bubbles. And then we have this green which is in Palm Tree. And we have two collection ones. The red one is 29 Big Hair and the purple one is 58 Go Retro. So these are quick drying as well and they are really good. We have a Yes Love one and this is in N13. And that is just a really shiny, sparkly, translucent y sort of pearlescent colour. And then we have two unbranded ones, or an unbranded one. We have the Lava Starshine. And then a really unbranded one which is just golden sparkles. So next I'll move on to foundations and skincare. Okay so we'll start with blush. This one is an MUA one and it is a mosaic blush. This one 
this is in English Rose and it's shade 3 and I just use a blush or brush all around it put it on the apples on my cheeks and then a solar brush this is in shade Candy Floss it's a nice pink peachy colour and is in Candy Floss the other two products I have for my face is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation and this is in 010 Ivory it's got an SPF of 19 in and it has a pump and then to apply that I use the Cosmopolitan Blend Perfection Sponge this is just supposed to be a dupe for the beauty, beauty blender, I've never used that but this is amazing, you just dampen it and squeeze the excess water out and then dab your foundation on the back of your hand, dab this on it and it's flawless and this was 4 99 so that's that I will now move on to lips ok to start off we have the Calvin Klein Delicious Pout this has been in a few videos and this is in shade Breathless but it's white on pink so I don't think it will focus nope this is basically just a glass applicator or plastic applicator shall I say So that is my favourite lip gloss of the month. We have a Revlon lip butter and this is in shade 53. Which is pink sorbet. Oh it's just sorbet. just this nice ready pink colour I tend to put that on top of a lip balm then I have a Rimmel Kate lipstick and this is in shade 26 and this is just a nice nude, there's not much of this left Then we have a lip stain by Revlon. This is in Crush. It's just the Revlon Kissable Balm Stain. Then on top of that, I put the Rimmel Apocalypse in Galaxy. And then if I want a nice bright, bright pink, I take the Fashionista Double Take lipstick. This is in Ultra Pink and this has got a nice shiny red outer package and it is a nice pink shade they are available off the MUA website now I'm going to move on to scent ok so I'll start with the two smaller scents we have a perfume and a body spray the perfume is the Hello Kitty Eau de Toilette this is by Sanrio and you can't see a thing because the base and the writing is completely distinguished then we have a natural collections body spray in vanilla and then we have two candles the two candles of this month are for me Christmas cookie by Yankee Candle and as you can see there isn't much left to this one I've burned this one almost all the way down this you can only get it around Christmas time, it's a Christmas special and for me I found I can only get it on the Yankee Candle website I don't find that Clinton's or anywhere else stock it then we have this one which is just by Primark, it has a sticker on the bottom but it's just a vanilla scented candle it's walnut, coconut and vanilla 
I can just smell the coconut and it's got a slight hint of walnut. It's not very vanilla -y, but that was £3 for Primark. My two favourite teeth products this month are a both toothpaste, they're both whitening toothpaste. One is the Colgate Max White One Luminous, which is, well I've done videos on this, many comparisons. This is amazing. And then my newer edition is the McLean's White and Shine. And I have done the first impressions of this. And this claims shiny teeth in a week. My skincare products are the Huggies Natural Care Baby Wipes. These have aloe vera in them and vitamin E. And they smell very aloe vera-y. But I find these help under my eyes when removing my makeup. Because Huggies for me are very gentle anyway. But the aloe vera seems to help with dark circles and relieve my eye of any pain. Or if I've been irritated by the makeup I've had on my face, this is so soothing and so nice. Whereas if on like a general day where there's not much makeup and I'm not irritated, I'll use the Huggies Pure. So we have a few skincare products. We have the Boots Essential Eye Gel. Which is just a cucumber eye gel to remove dark circles with a nozzle. I apply this in the evening and leave it to dry overnight and then it's gone in the morning. We have the Boots Essential 3 Minute Clay Mask, also in cucumber. And you just basically pour that out and leave it for 3 minutes. The number 7 Beautiful Skin Rapid Spot Rescue. And that just is in the same set of packaging. Like that, with a nozzle. That's £10 from Boots. And then we have a L'Oreal 3-in-1 Skin Perfection Cellular Solution and this one is almost, well this one's half gone. So now I will move on to Her Care. So my favourite shampoo of this month is the Herb Essences Be Strong. It's a strengthening shampoo with honey and apricot and it's for damaged hair and I have the matching conditioner here as well. They're widely available and so cheap. I then have my shampoo by Lush. This is a, I think this is called New. It's a cinnamon one. It's supposed to, you know, just clean your hair really good and I do like it. I have done a, a very old video of this if you want to check that out. And then I have a intensive mask which is from the same range as the Herbal Essences one. It's the Be Strong Strengthening Intensive Mask. And if I try and take the lid off for you, it's quite thick. I just put this on once a week, leave it on for a few minutes and then rinse it off. My hair is so smooth afterwards. Other hair products from this month include another product from that range and it's the leave-in conditioner. Superdrugs Coconut Oil. I have started using this product again. It used to be in a lot of my favourites but I haven't been using it for that long. I haven't been using it again for that long. It's just in a solid form. And then I have a dry shampoo and a dry conditioner. We have the Hot Tim Roof and Carnival Dry Shampoo. and a Batiste dry conditioner. And that is all of my favourites guys, so thank you for watching, sorry for the long video and let me know if you prefer this background or the one I've been using recently. I know quite a few have said this one so that's why I'm back, but we'll see what all of you prefer. So thank you for watching guys, all the links will be in the description and next time, bye!